All right, hi, I'm Bill Hewitt. I'm an old and I'm a proud tree hugger. So climate change, why we're here. It's a clear and present danger. When Sandy came through here less than a year ago, there were 14 foot storm surges right where we're standing, all right? Nearly 300 people were killed in seven countries, 40 of them in New York City. There was over $70 billion in property damage, $20 billion of which was in New York City. All right, we know this. The Alberta tar sands are a carbon bomb. If all the carbon up there was developed, that would give us about 2 billion extra tons of CO2 into our climate system. We don't need that, okay? And of the 1 million barrels a day of tar sands oil that they, that they developed now, okay, they want to go to 3 million ton, uh, barrels a day of tar sands oil. If we burnt all that tar sands oil in our cars, it would be the equivalent of putting 20 million new cars on our highways. That's a carbon bomb. We don't need the damn oil. We don't need it because there's 90 million barrels of oil produced in the world every day. So this 1 million, 2 million is immaterial relative to the rest of it. Okay, that's the first thing. The second thing is renewables are skyrocketing worldwide. Do not, do not believe the big lie from big oil and big coal that renewables cannot do the job. Renewables can do the job, are doing the job, will do the job. Okay, solar, geothermal, wind, tidal power, and energy efficiency. The number one reason why our greenhouse gases are down in the United States, because of energy efficiency. Okay? Third thing, why we don't need the damn oil. Electric vehicles are coming on strong. The radical environmentalists at, at Deutsche Bank, they predict that hybrids and electrics will comprise 20% of total world auto sales by 2020, and two-thirds of total light vehicle sales in the world by 2030. Okay? Deutsche Bank says, quote, people tend to underestimate the tempo of change over the long term due to a bias toward perceiving and projecting linear rather than exponential growth and adoption functions. And that, quote, we are now seek, we now seek the tipping point that will destroy gasoline demand and mark the end of the age of oil. Say that, say that with me. The end of the age of oil. The end of the age of oil. We're getting there. We're getting close. We are making real world change. Environmental activists are making a difference as we did over 40 years ago when we brought the National Environmental Policy Act into being, the Clean Air Act into being, the Clean Water Act into being. European governments listen to their people. California's leaders know what their people demand. And now the President of the United States hears us. In his climate, spate, climate change speech in June, Barack Obama referred to the hydrocarbon development that some of our neighbors to the north refer to as oil sands. Well, what did he call them? He called them tar sands. That's a very big linguistic leap, okay? It means, essentially, he's an opponent, all right? He further said that, regarding the KXL, that it would not go forward if it failed the test of greenhouse gases, right? John Kerry, it's very important to know and to remember, is a climate hawk. All right, I think he's been pushing this in the right direction. Finally, 
I almost fell off my chair when toward the end of the speech, the president called on people to take charge, to educate, to apply political pressure, to invest, to divest. He said it. He said it. Divest. Quote, quote the president. Convince those in power to reduce our carbon pollution. Push your own community, your own communities, to adopt smarter practices. Invest. Divest. Remind folks there's no contradiction between a sound environment and strong economic growth. And remind everyone who represents you at every level of government that sheltering future generations against the ravages of climate change is a prerequisite for your vote. We are doing great work here and in cities all across the country today, okay? The president hears us, the world hears us, let's stay with it. Yeah. Yeah.